Hey, we are back. Trim Cove Fitness is live on this Finish Friday, and we have the one, the only Travis Hartman in the house. Say what's up, Travis. Get this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, pleasure to have you joining in on this live streaming session right now here at this 430 session. Now, before you move a muscle, make sure you go and click click the link to Trim Co Fitness on the Facebook page. Press like so you can get all the updates when we are streaming live so you don't miss out on anything. Hopefully, you checked out yoga on the session before you got your stretch on. Now it's time to get this grind and pound on with a little plyo circuit movement and everything all above. Now, for the viewers that are watching, there's somebody, there's something for everybody. Don't be afraid. I know uh, Travis has that good one-two punch combo, but you can do the same as well in this workout. <laughs> Knocking it out, making sure that we finish off this Friday right, nice and strong, okay, in the opponent in the ground. Hopefully everybody's doing good. Now, Travis, again, we appreciate you joining us here at Tremco. What have you been doing? I see you in your gym. I don't know, like, have you been doing a lot of jump roping? Are you, are you, are you still in the game? What have you been doing since this quarantine has been, has been going on? Yeah, man. I mean, I made a goal of myself to come out of this quarantine, you know, as physically fit as possible. You know, I'm a professional boxer as it is, so I should be in shape all the time. But sometimes, as you know, you get a little busy with clients and working them out that you kind of forget to work out for yourself. So this is a perfect time for me as well. And it's kind of paying off because I have a home gym. I have a home boxing gym. So it's perfect. I go out my back door and I go over into my gym and I got everything set up here. So I got jump ropes. I got heavy bags. You know, I got medicine balls. I got a little bit of everything. But the most part is everybody can do some of these boxing workouts at home without equipment. That's the cool part about boxing is you could do it anywhere, especially with some of the workouts that I have uh, that we can go through. So it, it's, it's a fun sport. And I think everybody should try it, especially now when you have time and you're at home, like, why not give it a shot? There it goes. See, listen, you guys understand that this guy is a pro boxer. He's been on national television. He's been in heavy and uh, large fights, which we'll get into a second. He's also a pro trainer, right? Giving back to the community. He's staying in shape himself. He's doing it all. And he's giving you information of how you can fit boxing into your everyday routine, your everyday life. Listen to that, man. He's doing it all. Hey, Travis, I'm going to ask you some more questions as we get, begin this warm up. You guys know the structure. Yes, As you guys are watching, we're going to warm up. We're going to get this workout in, cool down, and of course, know about how Travis is knocking people out in the ring. Now, Travis, how, how long? How'd you get, how did boxing get started? When did you end? Are you still in it? What's going on? Yeah, I actually just celebrated my 16th year as a professional boxer on March 12th. It was my 16th year as a pro. Wow. I turned pro March 12th, 2004. But that's not even the whole story. I've been, amateur, I've been amateur since I was six years old. So I have 14 years of amateur experience on top of the 16 years of pro experience. So I've been doing this for literally 30 years, guys. It's ridiculous. But when you love something, you go for it, man. And I'm, I'm always going to be involved, whether it's competing or teaching other people how to do stuff. So I'm always going to be involved in boxing, whether I'm competing or not. Uh, that's just how much I love boxing. Now, what's 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 the the driving factor? I mean, thirty years—that that is just like, you know, only a pro that loves it doing it. Like, how do you stay in it, right? And and uh, just keep keep going and keep that drive going. Man, you know the only thing that I can say that just I genuinely love boxing to my core. Like, I don't only compete; I'm actually a huge boxing fan. So when I get to watch other people compete and, and do good. And, and I, I've watched what boxing has done for my life because, guys, I'm, I'm from a town with a population 400. That's where I was born and raised in Missouri. So I, I've got to travel the world. I fought at Madison Square Garden. You know, I've been on HBO pay-per-view. And because whoa, of whoa, boxing, whoa, whoa, it's whoa, taken whoa, me whoa, whoa. all over the world. <laughs> you, you can't just go past Madison Square Garden. Tell, tell us some, <laughs> about, some about the accolades that you have done and been able to yeah. sit in. 
and boxing and stuff like just go past that. That is a special place. <laughs> and I know you got other special places that you have also yeah. been a part of too. Give us give us some detail. Give, give us some juice. Yeah. I mean, that's a cool it's a cool thing, guys. I mean, I, I've like I said, I'm from a town population 400. I got the opportunity to fight at Madison Square Garden. And I mean, the greats have fought there. Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Leonard, all of those guys. So that, that's, I feel very honored and blessed. And like I said, that's why I love boxing. It's my passion. And I love giving back and sharing my experiences, whether it's physical, mental, or whatever. I love giving that back to everybody. So uh, that's why, back to your question as well, that's why I love boxing because it's taken me all over the world. It's got, gave me experiences that you wouldn't get in any other sport for the most part. And I got to do all of that on a really, really big stage. So I see a setup back there, you know, a, a, a boxing bag and everything. And how did you get into uh, training? You went, so you, is that always something that's been a part of you? You said, you know what, this is my next phase. Where are you training at? Kind of all those above. Yeah, you know, it's a good question. I actually owned my own boxing gym back in Missouri for about eight years. I ran that gym. I, I mainly, our family, my dad is my trainer. I have a brother that boxes as well. So when we first opened our gym, we just opened it privately just for us to train. And then eventually after about six or seven months, I was like, you know what? I kind of want to bring some other people in here and, and let them benefit from what I benefit from. And that's boxing. So I opened the doors to that and it just kind of steamrolled from there. I mean, that was, I opened my gym back in 2008 and then I closed it down when I moved to Florida and then I opened a gym here now and I've had this gym for a little over a year. So it's, it's just been something that's been in my blood, man. It's hard to get it out. Once it's in your blood like it is, and I'm so genuine and passionate and love what I do, it's just, it's impossible to go away from that. Yeah, and, and what, how do you train in your clients? Do you have athletes? Do you have adults? Do you have something for everybody? How are you doing that? Yeah, man, it's, it, you know what I love about boxing is that it's, it appeals to all ages. I mean, I train guys as young as seven years old. I have a couple ladies that are in their 50s that I train. Um, I've trained 65, 70-year-old men before as well. That's why, like, I customize my, my sessions to everybody because boxing can benefit all levels. You just got to customize it, and you got to be patient, obviously, with some certain people and some other ones. And I'm patient because I love what I do. I love helping people, and my expertise is boxing, and that's the only how I know how to give back. So I give back as much as I can with that. So, like, last question before we get started with this workout. You're one-on-one -on -one with yep. the ring, in, in the ring with the other person, the other opponent. How can you correlate this to the coronavirus that's going on? We're one-on-one -on -one with it. We have to face it, right? We almost have to uh, think of different maneuvers to uh, beat this thing. So, and this is an individual thing. It takes that individual effort from everybody to really... Yep beat this as a whole unit how can you correlate those two from in the ring to the coronavirus yeah because you know in boxing at the end of the day it's you one-on-one -on -one. you know it's mono -e mono so you have to overcome your own mental and physical barriers but also it's also a team if you think about it too because i'm not i go into that ring by myself but to get to that ring i have a team i have a coach i have a trainer i have a nutritionist i have all of that so i equate that to the coronavirus is we all can do our own part individually one, we can get healthy and stay fit and boost our immune system. And two, we can do it by staying home and doing these workouts as well. And that's the team effort there. If all of us can do our individual goals, we can beat this as a team. If we all stay home, do our workouts, stay healthy. We've got everybody staying home, but I hope people aren't just staying home and being couch potatoes. Stay home, but you gotta keep your fit, you gotta keep your immune system up and be fit and eat right and keep doing these type of exercises. So that's why we can, we can combat this coronavirus and win as a team, man. Even though it's individual, we're doing it for a team effort as well. Hey, the man himself. <laughs> Great, wonderful explanation, tying those two together, right? It's just not the I, we are a team, we're in this together. Gosh, he couldn't have said that any better. I'm not even gonna mess with that. Hey, all right, you guys, I know you guys are ready for this workout with the only, the one and only Travis Hartman. He's gonna show you guys how we get down. I got the workout structure. Now, we're gonna go for the first exercise is gonna be for one minute. The second exercise is gonna be for 30 seconds. We got one, two, three, four, about four blocks of exercises that we are going in. We're gonna try to get to each one.
fight. And then add a little finisher at the end to where we're going to see our hip swivels. We're going to see some footwork. And of course, you're going to see Travis throw his jabs. I'm going to throw the jabs, but you more so might want to look at the man that has done it 30 plus years <laughs> since he was little. All right. So the first one, okay, we're going to do a side step, a side step, okay, to a jump up, a side step to a jump. You can either have your hands up or you can have your hands by the face, side step to a jump. So we're going to go for a minute. Then after that, we're going to go explosive lunges coming back. Coming forward and then coming back really fast, exploding back up like so. You guys ready? Let's hit this thing in three, two, one, and go. Side step. Let's get a D. Jump. Nice. Here we go. Here we go. Coming up. D. Uh, you know, I might have to get you with the other boxer that was on. Get you guys going toe to toe. Get a face off. <laughs> there we go. Nice job. Going side, stepping it up. Side, right, stepping up. There we go. You know, D, I can play basketball nice. too, man. Oh man. So what are the other hobbies that you have that uh, you know you can get some intel on for the people? I'm just saying that I would have actually played college ball, D, if it wasn't for me turning pro. I had to focus on that. Oh my God. Yeah. No. I actually, wow. I'm a pretty good basketball player. Uh, <laughs> so we, basketball we is honestly my see. favorite sport. Three, two, one, and time. Nice job. We're going to those explosive lunges, forward lunges, only 30 seconds. Stick with this. If you need a drink, you guys grab a drink at home and we're taking off in three, two, one, and go wow so basketball was your love so touch on you know were you a big kobe fan um you know what i wasn't a big kobe fan to be honest but yeah i didn't dislike him i respected the crap out of him yeah, yeah. probably more he, so he, he more so now especially yeah and the impact that he had on the whole world was big when the, when the tragic accident happened and by him in the, in the helicopter and time nice job take a rest about 30 seconds okay then we're going to get it into it again the side side step with the jump like so now basketball do you have a favorite team you know what i'm i'm gonna be so cliche but i like the bulls and michael jordan so that's who i really follow okay. in pro basketball but I'll tell you what, though, I'm, I'm a big college basketball fan. I love the Kansas Jayhawks because that's from where I'm pretty much from. So I'm a huge Kansas Jayhawks fan now. Kansas Jayhawks. Okay. I like it. Rock, All right. Hey, we're getting back rock, into this thing. Rock. In three, two, one, and go. Side. Okay. With the jump. Nice. D, my legs go. are getting tired already. <laughs> How do you feel about just what's happening? You know, is there anything that you can say to the athletes that are kind of in their senior year of, you know, not being able to finish out with 30 seconds in? Yeah, that's tough right now. You know, I, all I got to say is, you know, lean on God in times like this, guys, especially for the seniors, because yeah. everything's meant to be, man. Everything happens for a reason. So just lean on that, stay fit, keep your mind good, keep your body even better, and keep your faith. There we go. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one, and time. We are going straight into, into those lunges. 30 seconds like so. Here we go. Three two one and go come on nice explode down and up now if you need to just stay up and push back that's okay as well okay do the modification for yourself you know d sometimes i like to do a little hook and kind of turn into my leg oh. when i do these lunges 
It's kind of a fun uh, one a little bit for the boxing. There you go. A little okay. twist. Okay. Uh, exactly. Legs are burning now. <laughs> Three, two, one, and time. Hey, feel free, Travis, to make any modifications that you want to, including some boxing stuff in there. I'm sure everybody watching it will love it. Now, okay, again, we did those exercises. The first one for a minute, the second one for 30 seconds, two rounds. Now we're moving on to the second round. We're gonna go jab, jab, upper, upper. And then with our feet, we're gonna do a little crisscross, crisscross. So jab, jab, upper, upper, okay? Crisscross like so. So we're gonna go for one minute and then all we're going to do after that is just go with those lateral squats again, but no jump. So come in here, step in, stand down the whole time for 30 seconds. You guys got me. Two rounds. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Jeff, Jeff, upper, upper, crisscross. Upper, upper, crisscross. There we go. Look how loose he is. Crisscross. Jab, jab, up, up. Come on. Come on. Jab, jab. Oh, crap. Jab, jab, up. There you go. Uh huh. You got the juice. Up, up. Crisscross. Come on. Uh, jab, jab, up, up. There you go. Jab, uh, uh. Come on. Jab. Yeah. Uh, uh. There we go. Almost there. Come on, time. 15. Dude, your jabs and rice are good. <laughs> hey, I'm just looking at you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Two, one, and time. Time. Now, we're going to stay in this low squat, like so, going from side to side. Stand down, making sure, right? We always want to keep our hands blocked, right? Correct? Yes, sir. Blocking our face. The there we go. Up. Three, keep two, that shield. one, and go. Nice. 30 seconds. Stay in this. Nice. Boom. Good. Nice. You know, how is that face off when you're standing front to front with that opponent? What are you thinking of? What are they thinking of? Is it a show? Is it real? What's the, what's the backstory on that? I'm going to tell you, it's, it's more real than most people think. I mean, you're legitimately standing Man. there. You're looking through the eyes of the guy who's getting ready to go to battle with you the next day. So it's, it's pretty serious, mm. man. It's a good, I would say the difference from amateur to the pro uh, was, the, was the mental battle. Mm. 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 What about the like mental said, battle? Looking at the guy, looking expand? the guy down. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to think about it. I mean, the boxing workouts are hard as they are, but I can tell you that once you throw in that mental aspect of once you're coming out in that ring and this guy is literally coming to hurt you and you're thinking about that the entire time. So you gotta stay mentally strong, physically strong, and your brain's gotta be working in a snap of a second. So it's, the mental battle is real. It's 90% mental, 10% physical. I know that mm. sounds crazy, so we're gonna it's really 90%. We're gonna expand on that here in a second. We're gonna hit this. Next set, we're gonna expand on that. Here we go, going back to the jab, jab, upper, upper, in three, two, one, and go. Now, would you advise switching up the stance or staying in that same stance that you that you do? No, I like this stance because if you're if you're a, a, a right-hander, you want that left foot in the front and the right foot is in the back if you're a right-hander. And it's, by the way, oh, it's gotcha. the jab. And the jab is the left hand. The right hand is a right cross. So you would say jab, right, uh, cross, up, jab, right, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Because the uh, right is actually considered a right cross. Ah. Uh, ooh, that messed me up a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Uh-oh. Huh, huh, huh. Okay. Good. Your, your form is really good, though, D. Maybe I need to train you. You got a second career? You got time for a second career? Anytime I'm ready. Hey, anytime I can get sets with you, man. That's that's gold. That's super gold. Uh-uh. There we go. Nice. Huh. Huh. There we go. We got three, two, one, and time. Nice job. Going straight into those lower lateral 
side to side step. Here we go. In three, two, one, and go. So you say that mental battle is something that we're going through now, right? And so day by day, you know, these days are seeming long. You know, it feels like we're just stuck in the house. How do you just keep reassuring yourself that we're going to win, that it's going to be okay? What advice would you give uh, to the people watching? You know, I, I feel like I'm going to lose a lot of followers when I say this, but I'm telling you, lean on God, man. In times like this, that's when yeah. we genuinely have to have faith. And immerse yourself in that. You know, I've downloaded this app. It's called the Bible app. I literally have been reading more God. Bible verses than I've ever read. Yeah, yeah. You know what? That's key. But you're sticking to, again, your true self, what you believe in, your faith and everything. And I think at the end of the day, um, a lot of times we try to be um, somebody that we are not, right? And yes, it ends yes. up not really working out. If we just stay true to whoever we are, what we like, what we love, things will work out. And you'll live a much happier life. Okay, now we're going to go into a chorus section. Okay, and so with this section, I'm going to turn sideways like so. We're going to be up in a high plank. Our feet are going to come in, back out to the right, back in to the left, back in. In, out, right, back in, left back in we're going to go for one minute and after that we're going to hold a low plank for 30 seconds on our forearms here we go three two one and go he's already getting some extra work and i like it <laughs> nice. there we go see how important is core in oh body. my gosh course I mean, I always tell everybody that core is important for literally every aspect of your life. No matter what sport it is, yeah. no matter what you're doing in the core, a strong core is essential, man. But especially after boxing yeah. too. That's why they call it core, right? It's the center of everything. Hold every Amen. single thing together. Now you guys at home, you guys can slow this down. You can speed it up. Whatever pace was comfortable for you. Keep digging at that. We got 15 seconds left. Nice. Do it good. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Nice job. So now, from there, we're going to go to a low plank. Just on our forearms, a low plank. Holding for 30 seconds. Make sure you're squeezing the glutes. Tighten that core. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, and go. Hold that. I always tell people if when I do these, come up. I, always, uh -huh. I always tell people when you're doing these too to, to imagine sucking your stomach into your spine. I know it sounds crazy, but yeah. that's kind of the motion that you want. Oh, I like that. That just changes the game, man. <laughs> so if you're doing it like this, holding it for five plus minutes, is that possible or, or what? End time. You want to know what's possible? Your son, what's he did that? a five minute plank. <laughs> he did a five minute plank because he's crazy. <laughs> he's an animal. <laughs> well, you know, he's only training with the best, so. That only makes <laughs> sense, right? You know, I think the boxing, he's got good. His hand. That's good genes too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, hey, we're gonna go through that again, okay? That that uh, core series, in, out, left, right, and then holding it, okay, for thirty seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. You know, I was listening to a podcast, and. Uh, how they were talking about, you know, talent. It's good to be talented, but when you have a gift, that means you know what you've been granted and you're using it, right? And so, yeah, people who have gifts actually work hard at where they're at. You know, you can be talented at something, but not work at it 
and you just you just have that talent. But a gift is something that, right? You keep working hard and hard and hard to unreveal what you've already been given. Okay, going into that low plank. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Tension positions. Nice, holding it. Remember, like Travis said, sucking. Your stomach into your spine. That's, there you go. Holding that. That just is a game changer. Ten, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Nice job. So, listen, we're going to go 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're only going to do two rounds of these. A really quick blast, okay? So we're gonna go quick feet. And now say, uh, a swivel, okay? So we're to the right, start now. And then we'll swivel to the left real quick, two rounds. And then we're gonna do it with a shuffle. Like so, I'll say quick feet, shuffle, step. Quick feet, shuffle, step, like so. Here we go, working on a little footwork. Three, two, one, quick feet. Swivel. This is your NFL days, D. Swivel. <laughs> Swivel. Hope. Swivel. Swivel. And time. Time. Hey, going into the that lateral side step. That lateral side step. Ready? Here we go. In three, two, one, and go. Right step. Oh. Nice. Oh, you're stepping. I like that. Left step. There you go. All right step. Left step. Nice. Right step. Left step. And time. One more round. Hit this, folks. One more round. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Nice. Quick swivel. Woo. Swivel, woo. Swivel, woo. Come on. Swivel. Two, one, and time. Last set. Come on with us. Join us. Here we go. We're going to do a Travis's way. I like that way. Three, two, one, and go. Right. Left. Oops. Right. Left. Right. Left and time. Hey, there you have it, you guys. What we did again, each section was a minute for the first exercise, and then 30 seconds after each exercise, we did one, two, three, four sections. The last was a Tabata 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off, with about a 10 second break in between listen travis is knocking us out listen he got a sweat on right he's giving us words of wisdom Big time. Hey, travis, is there anything that you can give to the people you know to give them some positivity to to give them something that they can just feast on for the weekend or even an uh, exercise or nutritious tip that you just want to shout out to them just to give them some encouragement about just keep pressing forward and keep going. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think it's just mental tips, man. It's negative stuff happens in our world, but it's how we react to it and how we accept it into our lives. So we can turn every negative into a positive. And it's not about ignoring the negative. It's about turning the negative into a positive. So like right now, we're all sitting at home. I think the positive is we all get to spend some quality time with family. We get to spend some quality time working on ourselves physically as well as mentally. So I think that that's the positive through it all. And I just, I genuinely believe your thoughts turn into actions. So stop thinking about the negative and stop thinking about all the bad stuff that could happen. And maybe start thinking about all the great stuff that will happen and can happen and kind of turn it into that. And that's why I truly, truly believe our words turn into actions. One of my favorite quotes of all time, and I tell it to my clients all the time, it is as simple as this, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're generally right. And that's how tough and strong mm. the mind is, because if you believe it genuinely, it will turn into something positive eventually. Maybe not right away. It's not like this magic trick, 
But if you constantly, constantly think positive, 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 and reinforce yourself, it eventually happens, man. And that's why you're at where you're at. Successful people think like that. And that's why, D, I think you're very successful. What you do as well, because you're a positive guy. You emit positivity and you give back with what you know, and that's through your professional sports, NFL training now, and all that kind of stuff like that. Mm. Hey, Travis, that's key, and I, I appreciate you. Those, those, are, those are key words. I uh, appreciate the kind words from you, and this is why we do this here at Trimco. We, we're, these athletes are bringing these po this positivity in this hard time right now, right? Travis, is, he's a professional boxer, right, of 30 years. Now he had, he's training, now he's giving back himself on all levels. He's, he's saying that, you know what, it does not matter. We can all do this. He's still spreading his wealth of knowledge. And then guess what? <laughs> and he's not giving up. He still has the juice. He's still going. Let's see, smiling. He, he, even though this, this is probably yes, one of the yes. toughest times that we'll, we'll, we'll see. And he's just like, you know what? I got faith. He ha you know, we're going to get out of this. You got to believe. You got to keep spreading that positivity. That mental toughness is yep. key and knowing that we're going to do this as a team. Travis, I appreciate you. Where can we, what you're doing right now, if somebody's around the area, um, I believe you're in Florida, you're in Florida right now. Um, yes, where sir. can they find you? What are your handles? So if they, if somebody wants to reach out to you and ask you more questions and everything like that. Yeah, I have, I have a Facebook page. It's Team Hartman Boxing is the Facebook page. My Instagram handle is Box and TH, which is B O X N as in Nathan, and then TH, which is my mm. initials, which is Travis Hartman. Uh, you can find me online anywhere, guys. It's, nowadays, it's super easy. Type in Travis Hartman, and I guarantee you, you can find me or search me down somewhere, somehow. Uh, but otherwise, you can find me in the local area over here in Lake Nona, um, spreading the positivity with Demetrius Bronson, uh, doing what we love the yeah. most, man. And thank you so much for having me on again. Seriously, I appreciate it. I hope to be back soon. Now, I appreciate you. I think what we need to give the the, uh, the viewers at some point in time is a, as a as a dual lesson. You you come to my side of training, I come to your side of training, and we 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 knock it out on both sides. And so hopefully that's I love it. In the near future soon. So hey, Travis, you want ha thank you for finishing off this Friday with us with the bang and one two punch. Okay, honestly, have a great weekend. Weekend, keep spreading that positivity. And we'll hopefully have you on again soon. Peace. Thank you, guys. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Thank you. See ya. <laughs> Hi, man. <laughs>